Welcome to School 2020. From today, we are introducing you the lectures of SSC Biology. Introduction What is biology? Answer The study of living organisms divided into many specialized fields that cover their morphology, physiology, anatomy, behavior, origin, and distribution is called biology. That means the study of living organisms. Jibito pranider shamporke amra jay study ta kore thaki shay study te jay specialized field gulo cover kore morphology or that ongo shangsthan bitta. Morphology means ongo shangsthan bitta or that amader living organisms er jay body or body parts gulo rache she shampurke j bitta shetake balahai morphology ongo shangstan bitta morphology and physiology anatomy behavior physiology or that deho totto shari britto shari britti deho totto or that animal body ne j porashuna j study othoba gobishuna and anatomy Anatomy hoche shuri chacha or that same body nee jesho alochona. Morphology, physiology, anatomy, behavior, origin, and distribution is called biology or that act living organism er, every details, everything, every study ke biology bala hai. Biology duita main branch ache. Number one physical biology. Number two Applied biology. Physical biology hoche data theoretical or that J biology shampurke amra gyan orjun korbo. Porashona kore gyan orjun korbo theoretical. Boi pore J biology shampurke amader ke gyan orjun korte hobe. And number two hoche applied biology. Applied biology hoche J biology amra real life e apply korte parbo. Tarpor ashi. Classification of living beings. Classification of living beings. Classification key. What is classification? The systematic grouping of organisms into categories on the basis of evolutionary or structural relationships between them. Taxonomy is known as classification. So basically, classification is a systemic grouping of organisms. Organism er act a systematic grouping into categories. Bibino category on jai organism the organism the ke group wise divide kara hoche on the basis of evolutionary or structural relationships between them is known as classification. Carolus Linnaeus is the father of classification and he classified living world into two kingdoms plants and animals. The classification uh, the Biological entity of plant is botany and animals is zoology. And the main aim of classification is to know the vast and diverse living worlds accurately and classify them quickly and easily. Then comes classification of living beings part 2. Here we can see a chart and this chart describes the categories of classification. So first we can see living organisms. Then it is divided into two parts, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Then prokaryotes is divided into just one part. It, uh, it, you, we can say that it has no division. Prokaryotes is directly called unicellular which is monera. Living organisms are specially divided into two super kingdoms, prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes is divided into one and eukaryotes is divided into four kingdoms, protista, fungi, planti, animalia and they can be both unicellular or multicellular. Then we will learn the difference between prokaryota and eukaryota. What is a prokaryotic cell? 
A prokaryotic cell is a cell with underdeveloped nucleus. Prokaryota, pro means primitive. That means ancient, primitive nucleus. The, nu the cells having primitive nucleus is known as prokaryotic cell. And what is a eukaryotic cell? Eukaryotic cell are cells with developed, well-developed nucleus and all the nuclear materials are present. Now, we will know their differences. Number one difference between them is in size. Prokaryotic cells are very minute in size and eukaryotic cells are fairly large in size. Then comes nuclear region not surrounded by a nuclear membrane and the nuclear materials of prokaryotic cells are surrounded by a nuclear membrane. Then about prokaryotic cells, single chromosome present as they don't reproduce through sexual reproduction only one chromosome one means single one parent chromosome is present and eukaryotic cells more than one chromosome present as they reproduce through sexual or asexual reproduction they contain more than one chromosome then comes prokaryotic cell nucleus is absent and in eukaryotic cells nucleus is present. Prokaryotic cells, membrane-bound cell organelles are absent. That means no cell organelles present here contain membrane. And in eukaryotic cell, membrane-bound cell organelles are present. Then the last difference, cell division by fission or budding, no mitosis. They divide by binary fission. And in eukaryotic cell, Cell, divide, cell division by mitosis or meiosis. That means they reproduce through sexual reproduction or asexual reproduction. Then we come to the difference table between Monera and Protista. Monera is the kingdom of the super kingdom Prokaryota. And Protista is the kingdom one, kingdom two, of super kingdom to eukaryota and monera is kingdom one so let's read their difference table here is the picture of a blue green algae and here is a picture of amoeba so monera monera is unicellular that means only one cell is present protista protista is multicellular but it can be unicellular as well but it is mainly multicellular next chromatin material and ribosome is present no nuclear membrane nucleus plastid mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum are there chromatin material and ribosome present but no nuclear membrane nucleus plastid mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum are there that means a very weak cell and in protista well-developed nucleus and all types of cell organelles are present and cells contain nuclear materials covered by nuclear membrane. That means it is a very well-developed cell. Then comes Monera. Cell divides through binary fission. They divide through binary fission and protista. Reproduce through asexual or sexual reproduction by the process of mitosis and conjugation. What is conjugation? Union of two gametes which are structurally similar but biologically different respectively. Then comes example, uh, sorry, then comes chief mode of nutrition. Chief mode of nutrition of monera is absorption but some of them produce food through photosynthesis. And the chief mode of nutrition of protista is absorption, ingestion or photosynthesis. And examples are Monera, Bacteria, Blue Green Algae, Protista, Example, Amoeba, Paramecium. It is a picture of algae here and it is a picture of amoeba. If you like our videos, please share with your friends 
and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.